Blessed and happy Tuesday to all of you, my dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, my dear good people of God, faithful followers of the Daily Gospel Reflection with Father Jack, my dear Kababayan. So today is Tuesday within the 14th week in Ordinary Time, Year A. Our Gospel for today is from the beautiful and the wonderful account of the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 9, verses 32 to 38. Our Gospel for today is telling us three things. It speaks about the ministry of Jesus to the lost, his compassion to the lost, and his instruction to pray for the lost. We heard in our gospel for today that Jesus went to the cities and the villages to cure every diseases and sickness. Because it tells us that the heart of Jesus goes out to the people who are in need, especially those who are sick. His breath is at the service of someone else in need. My dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, the tasks to love, the mandate to serve, and the mission to heal is the same tasks, the same mandate, and the same mission we are called into. Today, we are also reminded about the importance of having a shepherd, of having a leader. We need someone to guide us. We need someone to protect us in the person of our leaders. Without shepherd, we will be harassed and helpless. Without a shepherd, the devil will continue to oppress and continue to torture the innocent people. Without shepherd, the forces of evil and darkness will prevail. We need leaders, a shepherd pattern in the, in the heart of Jesus. And what we need to do? Today, we are asked to pray for more laborers. Because the harvest is plenty. We, we ask to, to pray for more shepherds, good shepherds, loving shepherds. We are asked to pray for the increase of a priestly and religious vocation. Nowadays, it's, you know, it's dis discouraging and challenging to be a shepherd. Why? Because some leaders of the church, you know, were harassed, were persecuted in some areas of the world. And some of our worship places will, were, were vandalized and desecrated by, by others. Were attacked publicly and accused of something we never did. That's why the Lord is asking us, you know, to, to pray for more good shepherds. And what should be our response to this? Uh, persecution that that's happening nowadays three things number one let us be an instrument of healing by continuing proclaiming the mandate to love if people hate you love them in return because love is the weakness of the devil second to return hatred with compassion when someone is angry, be compassionate like Jesus because I firmly believe to mute the devil. We need to, to do it by continuing trusting the Lord, by placing our trust to Jesus amidst of the harassments, amidst of the persecution, amidst of the rejection and non-acceptance. Let us not forget that there is God who will give us justice at the end. And finally, we are asked today to pray for your shepherds that like Jacob in our first reading, we may continue to bless those who wrestled with the man, with the man of God. My dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, our responsibility to pray for God, our responsibility, I mean, is to pray for God to ask for more workers to spread the gospel and to spread the good news of the kingdom of God. Finally, let me end my reflection by saying in the gospel we have heard that when we do, when you do what is right, when you do what is good, it will amaze people. That's why avoiding evil will amaze people. Proclaiming the good news will amaze others. And curing the sick will amaze the crowd. And helping the needy will amaze everybody. My dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, faithful followers, 
When God calls you, do not be afraid to say yes because God will equip you to amaze people around you. If you love and like this reflection, kindly share it with your friends. Kindly share it with others so that many will be blessed. Amen.